After that last video, I sit here to eat these chicken tenders. And I was sitting here and I looked over and I saw this. Taking up your cross. Notice the bent. It's like a bent staff, you know. I notice ACC. So ACC is one three three right thirty three and notice here this is like the hall of fame champions right so on this see the hall of fame champions right there and notice the one way look at the one way sign right there now this one here is going from right to left and those notice the trophy there And so, I was sitting here and I looked up and I saw that that telephone pole. Right after I did that last video about taking up your cross, I saw that telephone pole shadow and I saw the Hall of Fames. And so ACC is down, going through this cutting down here. 1333, right? The cutting, the turning machine. God is cutting you. AC. C is one three 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 and air conditioning this is this this reality is a air joint air condition God is conditioning you just like an air condition conditions the air in a room the joint airs are being conditioned so God is conditioning you as you go through the cross and then when you get to heaven hopefully he says well done good and faithful servant because you didn't deny the faith you stood firm on the faith the hall of fame the saints that step in by faith one way go through the cross get your reward in heaven and the hive the antenna the ants the hive mind is watching us go through this process so the real hall of fame is not the ACC tournament it's the ACC happening to you I went through that drive-thru and I parked right here. You see the shadow from all this stuff? And I looked over and I thought, there it is, what I was just talking about. Taking up your cross. It's not easy. But it never was meant to be easy. When you cast your burdens on him, it becomes easy though. What about all my dreams? My business ideas, my marriage, people dying. You might have lost your kid or spouse or... Part of the pain, no pain, no gain. So part of the pain is to, to not set your affections down here, but above, right? Even in the midst of pain and loss, you can still have joy, you know? Because you you got the body of Christ down here. Let's say somebody does go through a divorce or something, or lose a family member, a spouse. You know, spouses die, don't have to be divorced. Your spouse dies or your kids die. You still have fellowship with the saints who are going through the same process. It might not be the exact same thing, but they're going through this just like you are. The types and the shadows and the anti-types. See all these shadows? See all the shadows? It's all pointing to a higher... 
you set your you look above you don't look at this place this place is temporary this place was just a this place was just a a birthing this place was just a birthing process to wake you up you know that's all this place is this is like you're in a womb you're in a dream you're in a Call it whatever you want, video game. If you can if you can invent a video, you're in it. If you can dream, you're in it. If you're uh, if you were in the womb of your mother, this is the womb, Mother Earth's womb, is to move you towards a higher calling. If you really get into the spirit wall. I know this is going to sound crazy, but if you really get into the spirit walk, you can actually project your thoughts into the storyline and it appears the next day. When you really get into the spirit walk, you're doing it anyway. You just don't see it. But when you step back and look at this as a story, storyline, you'll realize if you pay attention to your thoughts yesterday and your words and your your goals or motivations it'll appear it will appear the next day because it's because you've got the holy spirit if you're in if you're one with christ jesus withdrew himself what does that mean they were trying to trap him and he drew himself with means together Together, he drew himself, he withdrew himself out of that trap that they set. You can see the pattern. When they're setting you up, when they're trying to set you up, you can see it in their words, and you can see the hive surrounding you. Because they're all, all the witches and the warlocks, they're all trying to say, okay, we got him. We got him. He's getting ready to fall. We got him. We sent a Delilah. He's going to fall. A Jezebel, he's gonna fall, and they all, they all get around to watch what happens. You know, I heard uh, something was happening one time on a job, and something happened. And this lady, she was younger than me. She said, "I, I said, what do you think about that?" She said, "I'm just waiting to see how it all plays out." They like to observe if somebody falls. They get a kick out of that if somebody falls into. Uh, death, sin, bankrupt, they get a kick out of it. That's sad. But with the saints, I was, I was in that parking lot and I, was in the, I wasn't even close to anything. I guess all the rain with the hurricane I had some gnats flying to the car looking for food I reckon but anyway they love to watch somebody fall that they get a kick out of it because they think they've set it up they've cast a spell right I tell you how to break any kind of spell if you're in Christ it's already broken but claim the blood claim the blood they can't destroy you you can only destroy yourself so they can get you to believe the fake realities to destroy yourself that's the whole game they can't destroy you but you can destroy yourself remember that they have no power the dark side has zero power unless you believe they have power or if you believe their lies and then you destroy yourself but even if you're going down the wrong path just step back read your bible and turn around and win it blows their mind that you win because they're trying to do all these spells right now with all these spells and all that and you just keep on winning and they are in shock because they they got the high the high priestess to cast a spell and do their little circle things and uh, go out in the, in the woods and try to cut you down with some kind of spell and try to send a demon and the demon kicks back and falls on them every time they try to do something to you it ricochets back on them 
and they want you to take on their karma and it blows their mind how you just keep on going you're like the uh, energizer bunny you're like Roadrunner. They're Wally Cody. They're coming up with all these Acme tools to to to, to shut you down and uh, to steal, kill, and destroy. See, they they have to vampire off of somebody, and they're trying to pick you out to vampire off of your spiritual inheritance. You don't even know that's what's happening. They're trying to steal your spiritual inheritance so they can survive down here in this downcast system under the devil. So if they sell their soul to the devil, think about it. They got to do what the devil tells. If they don't do what they sold their soul to the devil, and it could just, it could be something simple, but it's bigger than just simple. So they got to do what the, they got to do what the devil tells them to do. The devil, just like the Pharaoh, is a hard task master. They hate it when you survive. They hate it when you endure. They hate it when you overcome. Because they can't overcome. The only way they're going to overcome is turn you into a, a sacrifice. Get your insurance. Get your social security or whatever. Why do you think a lot of, a lot of these uh, women witches are trying to uh, get married to a, a believer who works two jobs. They want your... Why do you think these Pentecostal fakers want to marry you? Because they want your Social Security. If they can just stay married to you for 10 years, they'll say get your Social Security. It's all a big game, people. Their motives... Their motives are really all about money the love of money is the root of all evil they don't love truth they love money I wonder who put my trash can back on the somebody put my trash can back on the curb This game is real, but at the same time, once you see through it, it's not even real. Because you realize you have everything that's in you have everything in Christ. You already won. And so if you already won, what can they do? Nothing. Even if they come at you physically and knock you down you get right back up I wouldn't be surprised I mean look they, they killed the two witnesses in Revelation they got right back up three days later <laughs> the whole world is mad because they just got back up but the two witnesses are a foreshadow of the judgment to come so that they kill the two witnesses, they die, they go, they raise up after three days, they were in the streets, and they go to heaven, and that's a foreshadow of the judgment that's coming. So that was actually a warning, get right with God, but they reject the truth, and they kill the two witnesses, and then the last part of the tribulation, the whole world is under judgment. Because it's the hive mind. And they actually use everything that they're doing. Elon Musk, uh, Zuckerberg, Meta. Zuckerberg's got these glasses and he's in this battery pack on the wrist. Elon's tied to the brain. These people are fulfilling. You can actually see the 666 encroaching every day. All these super rich billionaires are bringing in the 666. And they don't even know that they're bringing it in. They're just following the script that was already written. It's already written in Revelation. It's the revealing of Jesus. And they're just going along with the devil's program.
then China and Russia and everybody's watching them. They don't even know that they're being used by the devil. And that why I mean why would Met, why would uh, Mark Zuckerberg Meta why would Elon why do they keep pushing higher? They're trying to bring in the six six six. That's why. That's why they hate Trump. Because now he's giving credit to God. He he might have got saved. And so they hate anybody that's not in with the 666 agenda.